there's the choke sign, there's the interview on the field post-game, then there's the press conference interview. What do you regret about all that? What do you not regret about all of that? Well, there, there isn't much about it I regret. You know, mostly I regret the, I guess, the, the storm afterwards. The, the, you know, the way it was covered, the way it was perceived, and, and the attention that it took away from the fantastic performances with my teammates, you know. And that, that, that'd that be the only part of it I regret, you know, the way it's covered. You know, I, it is what it is. What what I said is what I said. I, I, I you know, I don't say, I, I probably shouldn't have attacked another person. You know, I don't mean to attack him. And that was that was immature. I probably shouldn't have done that. I, I regret doing that. But I just felt like my teammates deserved better. And I, you know, I have to apologize to them, and I have. Your brother has said that Michael Crabtree was rude to you at an event this past summer, a charity event, that he shunned you, he wouldn't talk to you, and that you said at the time, all right, I'm going to show him on the field. Is, is that the background of all this? Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's the short version. Is that the clean version? That's the, and we're going to keep it clean. All right. And, and um, you know, I, I tried... Did it get nastier than that? We're going to keep it clean. Okay. And, and we... I, I told... I, I said I would keep it on the field. You know, I would, I would, I would show you on the field, and that's... That's always been my my thing. Everybody's like, oh, man, these guys pushing you in the face. You're doing this, doing that. You know, I'm not going to fight anybody and embarrass myself, embarrass my family, embarrass my, you know, organization like that. There's no need for that. There's no need to be that kind of barbaric human being. But on the field, we're playing a very barbaric sport. You can do as you please. And that's when, that's when I take all of my animosity and all my anger and all my frustrations out on the field with discipline football, sound football. You know, it takes... it. It, it takes a different kind of person to be able to turn that switch on and off and be able to step into the ring or step on the field and be the intense, incredible focus and kind of, kind of, you know, I guess angry human being that you have to be to be successful in those, in those atmospheres. How do you do it? You just, you, you, you have to have that switch. You take, you take it off. You treat it to totally different. And that's, that's why sometimes it, 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 crashes and, and doesn't go all, all so well because if you catch me in the moment on the field when I'm still in that zone, when I'm still as competitive as I can be and I'm trying to be in the place where I have to be to do everything I can to be successful in, on the football field and help my team win, then it's not, it's not going to come out as articulate, as smart, as, as charismatic because on the field, I'm not all those things. I'm everything I need to be to be a to be a winner. You know, we've seen this. We've seen Deion Sanders and Terrell Owens and Bart Scott and you can go much further back, Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali. We've seen guys get excited in the moment, make big pronouncements. What interested me so much about what happened to you was the reaction afterward, the way it mushroomed and the fact that race so quickly became involved. Yeah, I, you know, it, it was it was it was really it was really mind boggling. It was kinda it was kinda sad. That the, the way the world reacted, you know, I can't say the world, I don't want to generalize people like that because there are a lot of great people who didn't react that way. But for the people who did react that way and throw racial slurs and things like that out there, it was really, it's really sad, especially that close to Martin Luther King Day. You're judging, you're not judging a guy. I'm not, I'm not out there beating on people or committing crimes or getting arrested or, or doing anything. I'm playing a football game at a high level and I got excited. But what I did was within the lines of a football field. What they did was an actual reality. They showed their true character. That, that was, those were real comments, not in a moment, not in a, you know, though they had time to think about it. They were sitting at a computer and they expressed themselves in a true way. And I thought society had moved past that.